Hey everybody and welcome back to Gray County Grillin'. I'm Chris and today we are going to be making some jerky using my jerky gun and we're going to be using Cabela's open season jerky making kit. It comes with a packet of cure and a packet of seasoning so everything you need is included in that kit except for the meat of course and for that I've got about two and a half pounds of lean ground beef. When it comes to making jerky, the leaner the better, because fat just ends up going rancid if you leave it for too long, so the less fat, the better. First, we're just going to dump all of the ground beef into the bowl. There we go. And now, the packets of cure and seasoning are for a five pound batch. So since this is only two and a half, we're gonna use about half of the cure. And half of the seasoning. Good. And then you also want to toss in about half a cup of water just to make it mix easier and so that it doesn't dry out when it's marinating. And then just get in there with your hands and mix it all up. Okay, that looks to be good. You just want to kind of look and see if there's any big blotches of seasoning in the ground beef or anything and once it looks good then all we're gonna do is put a lid on the bowl put it out in the fridge and we'll get back to it in the morning and it is the next day and our jerky well our ground beef has been marinating for 24 hours so next we are gonna load up the jerky gun and I am using there, there we go. The Cabela's Jerky Pistol. Got it for Christmas. I've used it once and it worked really well. So hopefully I can get it to work again properly today. So what you want to do is put a glove on one hand, the hand that is going to be, uh, there's really no good way to put this, handling the meat, I guess. So you're going to take a handful of your ground beef out here so and then just kind of you know, squish it into a bit of a ball and you're gonna load it into the top of your jerky pistol you're gonna load it into the top of your jerky pistol like so and hopefully a jerky pistol came with one of these. It's a bit of a plunger, so you just use that to push it down, give it a good squish. Load some more in there. And then just keep doing that until it's full. You want to make sure that you push it down good so you get rid of any air pockets in there. All right, we got it loaded full, and then we'll move on to the next step. Hey, we got the pistol loaded up, and you can see I've got the end on there, so you want to screw that on with whatever attachment that you're going to be using, and make sure you include the rubber gasket, otherwise it's going to leak out, and you're going to have yourself one hell of a mess. All right, let's get in there and give it a try. We'll just pull. One of these mats here is a good thing to have if you're going to be making jerky this way uh, because it'll allow the smoke to get through when it's on the smoker and you don't have giant gaps for anything to fall through. All right. Just pull the trigger and slide it down the mat like so.
Then you'll probably want a knife just to cut them off at the end. Like so. And then do it all over again. There. So it looks like with one full barrel, I'll be able to get half of one of these mats done. I've got another mat. So I'm just going to go along, get this all filled up, and then we will come back once we're ready to put them on the grill. We've got the jerky lined up on the mats. The Traeger is ready to go. It's set on the smoke setting. That is the lowest setting that you can get. Mine usually runs about 160, 165 on smoke, which is perfect. It's going to help dry out the meat more than cook it. And as you can see, the smoke is just absolutely rolling off of this thing. So we are going to get some awesome jerky. So let's open it up and we will get the two mats right on. Hey, there you go. It might be a little hard to see just because of the shadows because uh, it is an absolutely gorgeous day out here. But there we go. We're going to put these on. I figure it'll take probably three hours to get these done, maybe four. So we'll do this for about an hour, come back, check, and see how things are looking from there. We're just about one hour in on the jerky. We'll open up the Traeger and take a quick look. Oh, wow. Now let's zoom you in a bit here because this has really changed color. Look at that. A nice, nice deep color on those. And texture wise, they're still quite a bit soft. They're still pretty soft. So we are going to close it up and let them go for well, at least another hour. We're at about two hours now. So let's open up and take a quick look. Oh yes. All right, let's zoom in for a better look. Oh, those are looking fantastic. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just give them a touch to see how. Okay, I think they still need a little bit, so we're looking at probably another couple of hours to get these dehydrated perfectly, but the color, I can't be happier with how these things look. We are at four and a half hours on these snack sticks. Let's take a look. There we go. They are looking pretty damn good, if you ask me. There we go. And I think they haven't changed much in the last hour. I think I'll leave them on for another half an hour. That'll be five hours total. And we'll pull them off and give them a try. I did have a taste of just a little piece. You can see there was one right there and I pulled that off about uh, maybe an hour ago and it tasted fantastic so I can't wait to try these once they are actually done like I said we'll give them another half an hour and then we will pull them off we are just about at the five hour mark and I think that is it so we'll open these up get one final look at them I'll pull them off and then we're gonna take them inside let them cool down for a bit and then give them a try All right, well, just in the middle of a smoke cycle, so yeah, it's a little smoky right now, but there they are. Those look pretty awesome. Like I said, we'll pull them off, let them cool down, and give them a try. And here are the jerky snack sticks. This is actually the next day. I kept them in the fridge overnight just to see what they would look like the next day, and they look just like this. Um, I kind of think they look like pepperoni sticks, but without the casing. And 
I think that looks pretty cool. So I've kind of been tasting them as we've been going along and they taste pretty darn good. So we'll give them a try right now. Let's take this one right here. So here. Let's get a good look at it. I'm gonna break off a little piece like that. Wow, those taste so good. Like I said, they take just taste just like a pepperoni stick, but without the casing, and probably about 10 times better what you can buy in the store. For a tenth of the cost, maybe? I got two and a half pounds of ground beef for like nine bucks, I think. So yeah, that worked out pretty darn good. And that Cabela's open season jerky kit, is absolutely amazing it is fantastic i highly recommend that if you get a chance to pick it up do so you will not be disappointed well thanks for watching everybody i appreciate it if you like this video give me a thumbs up don't forget to share with your friends leave me some comments down below i love reading them love responding to them and if you haven't yet then please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you get notified every time i have a new video don't forget to check out my amazon affiliate links and also my Patreon, I would love your support there. Even just a dollar a month would be fantastic. Well, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.